basic maintenance tasks of a solar panel installation is the checking their DC volts and amperage. The best way to do this is with a clamp meter. Now keep in mind that not all clamp meters are the same. Some can only check DC and AC voltage using only the, the meter probes. Here we have two different types of meters. Both are capable of reading both DC and AC voltage. You can do it through the loops or the clamps as they call them or through probes. Usually the best efficient way to check your amperage is going to be going through your clamp. This particular meter is capable of reading both DC and AC amperage. As you can tell, when this one comes on, it defaults to AC amps. This one has a good selection in where you can go ahead and make a change to DC amperage. At which point, before you even attach this to your leads that you have on your panel, just go ahead and zero it out. All you do is just zero out, then make your clamp, and then put it against the wire. This will then allow you to do the amperage check of the DC current in your unit. This particular model doesn't have that kind of feature, unfortunately, but it is great for checking DC voltages. So if you turn it on, let me go ahead and get this going here. So once this is on, you can do your, you can do your checks using the probes. Now, if you want to get amperage, the only thing that this can check is only the AC amperage. And you can use the clamp to check your AC amperage, alternating current. Unfortunately, it cannot do DC amperage checks. This model is kind of limited to that. So make sure you always get a, um, a meter that will always be able to do both for you. This will give you much more accurate reading and uh, lessen the frustrations of trying to determine what your DC amperage is that is coming from your panels. I'm here to show you how to check your PV panel DC voltage and DC amperage with the proper clamp meter. Make sure your meter is capable of reading both DC voltage and DC amperage. First, you can use the probes to check for voltage from the MC4 connectors. This is the outside demonstration of how we are going to demonstrate to our group here about DC uh, voltage checks using the probes from the clamp meter. This clamp meter is also uh, is capable of reading both DC uh, voltage and amperage. Right now I have it set for a DC voltage. So that's why I'm gonna be checking this panel right here next to me. And uh, we'll be checking on its voltage and we'll be using the probes for that. So just bear with me and let's go ahead and get on with that. When doing a check, make sure it's set for your DC voltage. You will put the positive into the male plug. You'll put the negative into the socket, female side. And then that's when you're gonna, gonna read off your meter. Currently, this panel is putting out 34 and 0.35 volts. That's what we're doing right about there. Now we're gonna be checking the amps. And then we're gonna be using the clamp to check the DC amps. For DC amperage, connect the panel leads to cables together. This will create a DC current to loop in the panel. In checking the DC amperage to your panel, the first thing you want to do is to get your lead lines. And what you'll do is you'll connect them together. In doing so, you're creating a loop that's going a DC current loop going through your system. At which point then, you will then get your meter. Uh, let me just get that here. You get your meter that you're going to use. And what you're going to do is you're going to clamp around this. First thing to do is to go ahead, set it to your amps. This particular one can read both DC and AC amps. So I'm gonna be selecting it to go to our uh, DC amperage. And in doing so, I will then zero it out. And then what we'll do is you'll go ahead and clamp around the wire. At which point, it'll be giving you your amperage. This particular one is reading 6.7 amps. It's as simple as that. I hope this demonstration helps you with your panel installation and maintenance. When using the proper tools, it can help you get 
the most accurate readings from your panels and alleviate some of the frustrations that you may face if you're not getting the proper feeding of energy to your array. Thanks again.